Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva and in today's video, I am going to share with you this Hamilton home. The name of this home is the Nevada. What I like about this home already is these large windows. You got five large windows in the front of this home. And let's go take a look at the windows in the back of this home. I absolutely love this home. For the windows, I haven't even seen the inside. All right, you got four windows in the back. Very nice. No need to walk around. They haven't put the siding on this house, so let's go on in and see what this home looks like, okay? All right, this is a Hamilton home. This is the Nevada. You got some brick look on the front of the home, which is nice. Oh, that is brick. And it would be nice to have it bricked in on the bottom, just like that. That would really set it off. All right, we got a four bedroom, two bath. Hi family, just a quick disclaimer. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing, or specifications, all the information that I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. So let's take a look at this one. I'm chasing the light, you guys. I do apologize. So when you walk in, this wall greets you, but it has a cutout to see into the kitchen. And it's that same brick uh, from the outside, transfers into the house. Really like it. A nice bench or table would be super cute there. You got a lot of space in the entry. So when you open the door, you're not knocking into the table. You don't feel crowded and you can greet your guests. They have this nice feature wall for when they come in. So from the front door to the right, you have your living room area, got beams in the ceiling, love the light color. They're not light, but they're not dark. Kind of a cherry wood look. You got a ceiling fan in here, nice space in this living room. This is a nice, 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 nice space for a living room. You got those two large windows there and you've got this finished drywall that has the uh, dark and light colors, uh, bottom and top. I love the contrast of that. I always appreciate that in the home. And I love the red tones in this, in these, in this uh, vinyl flooring. So very good. Very good. All right, so again, that is your living room area, okay? And then this is the kitchen. Here is this feature wall. You have this long counter, which I appreciate. It has drawers and cabinets in it, so you've got a lot of storage space. You've got a dark countertop, which carries around the exterior of the kitchen. Your island has the lighter countertop, and you've got three cabinets in the bottom of the island. Not necessarily an island that you would put a stool at, because you've got ca uh, cabinets on either side, but a nice prep space for sure. On the exterior, you've got again, the darker counters. You've got all of the storage space on the top, built-in microwave, and all of the storage space on the bottom, drawers and cabinets. Black appliances in this home, lots and lots of cab counter space. There's another one of those huge windows, double refrigerator in this one. And then you've got six cabinets over here as pantry space. Really nice. Love the hardware. It, it flows nicely with that industrial sink. 
and faucet. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. All right. And then on this side, which would be coming in the front door to the right, to your right would be the living room and to your left would be the dining room. Nice area for a dining room. You could actually put a large table in that space as well as a buffet if you choose. You've got plugs on either side so the buffet could be in the middle and if it had lights on it, you've got plugs for both on either side. Just a large space in your dining room. Super cute, really nice. All right, so again, this is the living room your front door and your dining room. And I just wanted to come back around and just give you an idea. So this is what you see when you come in. You're looking into the kitchen. To the right, you have your living room. To the left, you have your dining room. Now to the left, we'll go see the guest bedrooms, okay? This first room is the utility room. I know you definitely won't be able to see into there, but I've got the light, so I'll show you. Your washer and dryer goes right here in this cubby. And then on around is the back door. And then you've got space here, maybe a mud room area, or I don't know, you can put a deep freezer on this side because you got a plug and then your washer and dryer goes there. I was actually able to see it. I don't know how it's gonna look when I show it to you on the video, but I, I was actually able to see it through the camera. So very good. You got this hallway down here. To the left, you've got guest bedroom number one. All right, nice size guest bedroom. You got a standard closet over there. Love the thickness of the carpet in here. Sometimes the carpet can be so thin. The carpet in my house is so thin. It's gonna need to be replaced sooner rather than later. But that's a thicker carpet and I appreciate that. All right, so that's guest bedroom number one. And then on down this hall, you have guest bedroom number two. Appears to be the same size guest bedroom. You've got a walk-in closet in here. Okay, really nice. Walk-in closet that has the vinyl flooring in it instead of the carpet. All right. So this is guest bedroom number two. We'll spin around and let you take one more look. Very nice. And then next to guest bedroom number two is a coat closet. So you've got a coat closet for your guests or storage area, whatever you choose it to be. All right. So here are the two bedrooms that we saw. And then on this side, you've got your third guest bedroom and it's a bedroom because it has a closet, but it doesn't have carpet. So if you just got the fourth bedroom for an office space, then here you go. Or it could be a bedroom. You can put carpet in here or no. But this has a walk-in closet as well. And again, it doesn't have carpet, which I like, which I like for an office. Very nice. And then you've got your guest bathroom here. One sink, huge mirror. You've got storage space over the toilet and then your tub and shower combination. Very nice. Now, through the kitchen and next to the living room, you have the master. So here's your master. The master, unlike the guest bedrooms, the master has finished drywall. Really pretty. And then through here, you have the master bath. So you have that huge, huge shower that Hamilton Homes has been giving us. You got that really pretty shower fixture. 
Remember I showed you, if you've seen any of my other videos, water comes out there, water comes out there, water comes out there, and then you also can take this off and water comes out there. Good for washing your hair or any other thing you want to get to. Very nice. All right, you got your double sinks here, large window and storage space, linen closet, cosmetic closet, whatever. You got your shelves and, and uh, cabinets there. Huge soaker tub, built-in shelves and a frosted window, as well as your toilet room, which also has storage there. And then your master closet, which is huge. You've got a transom window. You've got all of this shelving all the way around. All of this. All of that is master closet. Huge. See that? All of that is master closet. Really nice. And behind this door is, is a little space for whatever you need it to be. Perfect. So again, this is Hamilton Homes. This is a Hamilton home. This is the Nevada. The dealer and manufacturer information will be down in the description box. If you have a question about price, if I can't find the price online, we'll definitely have that information so that you can contact them to inquire about this home, okay? Thanks so much for watching, The Mobile Home Diva.